Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, we have Robin with us again today, which you're gonna love. He is from the New Zealand Pocket Guide and they have everything you could ever need to know about New Zealand on their webpage in detail. And it's free for you guys to use. It's amazing. Definitely the travel resource that you should use. So. Yeah, so we're so excited to have Robin. Today we're going to talk about some of the mistakes that you can made, make when traveling around New Zealand. So you're not gonna wanna miss this episode. Here we go. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is a great all-in-one platform to get your business online quickly. So, 10 mistakes. Let's talk about it. All right, the first mistake, literally <laughs> the thing we see all the time from pretty much at least three quarters of travelers is that they do not plan a trip long enough in New Zealand. Have you ever made that mistake yourself? Like even just small trips in New Zealand. Do yeah. you always have enough time? Do, do you I, always do oh, everything? No, 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 no. I, we, we, the way that we travel is my husband's perspective is if we're not exhausted by the end, then we didn't have a good trip. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, so only, we, the best yeah, place to relax and, and, and rest is at work. Is it? <laughs> right? Hopefully they're sense. not watching. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, yeah. Uh, uh, definitely when planning a trip to yeah. New Zealand, if you're coming from overseas, you want to have at least two weeks if you want to be able to do both islands. Three weeks mm -hmm. would be ideal and even more if you can. Yes, more. Uh, literally, we hear that more. all the time on our channel, uh, on the website. We get yeah. a lot of uh, a lot of feedback on nzpocketguide.com where people literally um, tell us, I wish I had more time so in New Zealand. That, so, yeah. that is, you guys, that is such a big one, especially if you're American, you have like two weeks off a year and you think that that's enough. Quit I mean, job. it's enough. But, Quit. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Quit your job, come to New Zealand, it's great. You can make some coffees. <laughs> there you go, speaking of. What's the next mistake of oh, oh, yes, Ma next mistake. I'm doing this next one is relying on Google Maps. So this is a really good one. Now, let me just say this. So if you are in a town that has that you have data or you have Wi-Fi, you know, locate your next place you want to go and load the map before you leave that place because you never know if you're somewhere and you forgot, oh, I didn't load where we're going and then you're in the middle of the mountains and you can't get it and it's worth or, you know, download um, like a whole map before you come. Um. Yeah, so the one thing I would say as well is that a lot of people kind of, they hear that advice and what they do, they decide to rent a GPS uh, little system for their car through the mm -hmm. car rental company. Oh, that's true. But damn, they charge like 10 to $15 a day. It's super expensive. You may as well literally buy a brand new one if you come to New Zealand for two weeks. It's absolutely crazy. So uh, my tip is really to just uh, go on the App Store or the Google Play Store or anything and get yourself literally one of those uh, Garmin app or TopTom Tom app or oh, something like that. Oh, that's a really good tip. And, um, Do that. It's like, uh, I think it's like five bucks for a map of New Zealand and that will genuinely change the way you travel yep. around. Yeah. That's That'd so be my true. tip. Yeah, no, that's good. All right, uh, the next tip that I have is not comparing prices. Uh, shop around uh, for pretty much everything. There's always a way to uh, shave off a few dollars here and there. Um, mm -hmm. Also compare different options that you can have. Uh, for example, a cruise to Milford Sound. There is many different companies. There is yeah, many different bus tours over there. And you can actually literally have from, you know, $69 to $170. And, and you know, they will all have very different inclusions. Um, so pick what you want and what you want to pay for yeah. um, as well. There's plenty of different options in there. Even even just when filling up the gas tank, uh, there can be like 10 to 20 cents difference per liter on different, um, yeah, that's different places. Yeah, that's so, really yeah. good. So basically, when you come to New Zealand, this is my advice to you, is just you're not able to get everything. There isn't a cheap option for everything, okay? And so you just need to decide mentally what's most important to you. So yes, that flight over Milford Sound might be like the definitely something you want to do and it's expensive and you just do that. But then, you know, you you eat ramen noodles for a couple nights, <laughs> you know? And so you just, you just have to balance yeah. what you really value. And that's really what it's like, even if you move here, if you're living here, it's just about choosing what is... Um, you know, most valuable to you. You just, there isn't a Walmart version of everything <laughs> here. So they're no. starting to get a Kmart version of everything, but <laughs> yeah, but not quite. So that's a really good one. Like definitely compare prices and definitely with different things, 
costs like yeah it's amazing how much prices can vary so definitely do that or you know go to your local op shop i love those yeah. that's a thrift store if you don't know okay so the next one is don't be too negative so don't do what here. we're doing right here <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, you know. um, don't be too negative. Now this is really good, and if you haven't watched my video, I will uh, put it above on. Um, one of the things about New Zealanders is they can be quite sensitive. Okay, <laughs> and so if you're like, if you're coming from another country and you are just, you're just saying, what is this place? I don't like this. Da, da, da. You just need to honestly have the attitude of I'm coming into a new culture. I want to experience that culture the way that they live, and just appreciate the differences. And so if you come in with that attitude, you'll do much better here. No, I agree. I mean, it was it was a very humbling experience for me for my first couple of years in New yeah. Zealand. I'm, I'm super blunt. I'm super upfront. Um, I, I say things how I think, or, you know, like whatever, whatever I think, I just literally just say it. And, you know, I think there is a lot of value in that. But, you know, in the social world, that the, in a social situation that we're living in, it's not always the best thing to do. So, yeah, yeah. learn from my mistake. And that's probably what I would consider having been my biggest mistake uh, from uh, being in New Zealand was just to be way too frank, way too upfront. Yeah, and so if you're things. talking with a Kiwi and they give you like yeah. this face where they just kind of push back and they kind of like, you said something, it becomes real obvious to you. Yeah. And, and if you hear yeah now, that means now, that means definitely now, yeah. that means stop talking about this. So yeah. if you hear oh, yeah. yeah now, it's now. And, and it's, sometimes it's they will shush. tell you, we don't talk about that here. Yes. I've had that multiple times. Uh, okay, okay. A lighter subject. Yes. Don't be light on the sunscreen. Oh, you see what I did? I mean, Oh wow. Wow. my I mean, goodness. Wow. All right, so um, <laughs> uh, there is a hole in the ozone layers and mm -hmm. that means there is no protection between your skin and uh, uh, you know the UV rays, whatever, the science, Things. Insert right. graph here. Uh, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's for the you. The sun and is strong. Yeah, sun is okay. strong. Anyway, layer the sunscreen. Apply, 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 and reapply. Reapply yes. and reapply when you get out of the water. I'm uh, really, the, really bad at the it. The number is seven minutes uh, in the sun in seven plain minutes. summer in New Zealand. You can get sunburn, and that's increased your risk of melanoma, and that's not good. Yeah, and like it's so. it, they they take it very seriously here. <laughs> so, I mean, sometimes you'll see people. At, I mean. I feel like we didn't take that seriously. But no, yes, I'm really bad at it. Yes. I've been here for six years. I'm really bad at really bad at wearing a hat, really bad with a sunscreen. Also really bad at putting it on my kids, so it stresses me out constantly. But you know, what's great is like the restaurants, the cafes, everywhere you go, people are always just have a thing of, if you forget it, a thing of sunscreen, which is really, really nice because you need it here. It's dangerous. It's like actually dangerous. And like, it's so funny. You can go to beaches here that like, there's not a lot of naked people. It's... Fully cover it. You know, Why are you long, pointing at me when you say naked long, people? Well, I don't know, you're friends. <laughs> the long sleeve swim shirts and like, you know, they're wearing because they're because it, you need to here. Yeah. So it's really nice. Next not up. a lot of skin. Not a lot of skin. Okay. Yeah. So if you are trying to go on public transportation, make sure you let wave down the bus or it just goes <laughs> right past you. Yeah. Like, I want to get on your bus. I'm not just standing here for other reasons, okay? Um, <laughs> so wave down the bus, it's very important to note, okay? Um, because if, you know, it is, different parts of the country have really good public transportation. I have been yelled at a lot when I talk about how good it is because it's really good in Wellington where I'm from, but not so good yeah. apparently in other no, it's areas. Very, it's very uneven depending on, on uneven. cities for okay, sure. Is that, okay. Another thing I'm gonna say with bus is make sure you have the correct amount uh, because uh, mm. quite a lot of bus don't give you change. So you won't get change if you don't have the correct amount for the bus that you yeah. need to take. Okay. So, um, you know, it's always wise to have a you know a handful of coins. Not a handful, that's a lot. But, uh, you know, a few coins in yeah, your purse. Yeah, or you can get a snapper card for $10. Yes. You know. But if you're just passing by, if traffic, you're just, yeah, yeah, yeah. use coins. That's true. In there. That's true, exact change. Otherwise, you get that look like... All right, so one of the two of us has very, very strong feelings about this. Uh, the next point, and it's uh, about not waiting to be served at yes. coffees. So, yeah. Don't just sit at the chair, uh, you know, at the table and just wait for things to happen to you in coffees or pubs in New Zealand. Don't do that. No, you'll be waiting a long time. Tell us, tell us, tell us why yes. you're so angry about this. Yeah, so, yeah, <laughs> it's, okay. So because of the she no tipping, okay, the service is mediocre at best. I'm just going to call it like it is. I've been here long enough, I can say this. 
Okay, some places have decent service. Some places are like, oh my gosh, I need to help you. Um, <laughs> you know, like they don't, well, you just kind of sit down. Some places are really great. It's just kind of depends where you go. And, and, you know, and then when you get there, you sit down and normally you have to, sometimes you have to go to the bar to get your, just don't expect service. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's like really honest, if I'm being it's, honest. It's service with a lower case, case S. It's, yeah, it's yeah just, there you, know, you go. That's yeah. a nicer way to see it. And then like, I've if you, learned. <laughs> yeah, if you pay, you have to pay up at yes. you know the bar or the desk or. You well, know. you need to work work on the food. Work. You know, yeah, I mean, you just you just stuff yourself, right? So better work it off and by going to pay, yes, right? Yes, and you kind of sometimes have to get your own water out of the yeah, fridge. Yeah, yeah, just you know, keeping you keeping you in shape. You know, that's that's why you know it's you need to stuff yourself. You better work. I'm an for independent it. person, and so I like prefer to just get my own stuff. I actually prefer it, and yeah. so it works she for me. You see her in restaurants. She go do the dishwashing and even prepare the meals. I don't. <laughs> But like, I, I've been here, my friends have come here and they just kind of sit there they're like, really? Like, we have to go get our own silverware, and, you know, our own cups and water. And I'm like, yes, we do. Welcome to a different culture. Yes, yes. Your local cafe is akin to the cafeteria at your local high school. I don't know about you, but I have been putting off creating my website until I found my solution with Squarespace. You guys are going to love this product. They have so many beautiful templates to choose from. You just pick your template and then you go in and just add the details of your business. And literally within one day, I was able to get my website up and running. Another feature that I love on Squarespace is that they have this social sharing where my community can just go right out into my YouTube channel, my TikTok channel, which is where most of my uh, content exists. And so it's really nice that I can connect directly from Squarespace. Other features that Squarespace offers that are really great is their, the fact that you can collect donations, you can do email campaigns from it. It's just overall really great. I personally also love the analytics. I always like to know what's going on behind the scenes, who's really um, reaching me on my webpage, and that's just such a nice feature as well. I highly recommend that you check out Squarespace. Take some time today to go to squarespace.com and check out your free trial. And then when you're ready to purchase your website or your domain, you get 10% off with the link below. All right, moving on. Okay. What's the next one? The next one is, okay, man, I could tell you stories of this, but um, do not, um, make sure you have enough money when you're traveling. Do not come here on the cheap. Do not come here on the cheap. Now there are cheaper ways of doing things. This is not a cheap vacation. It isn't no. a holiday. And, and want we, to call we it. did a video together a little bit earlier on, on this channel where we talk about 30 tips yeah. about traveling in New Zealand or 31. Or, and um, yeah, we did talk about uh, a lot of different ways in which you can save money and shave off a few dollars on your trip. But it is not cheap to travel to New Zealand. We're far away. So just the flight alone should kind of give you a good indication that it's not going to be your, you know, cheap Las Vegas getaway or your cheap no. Hawaiian, uh, Hawaiian it's package. It's not all inclusive. Yeah, Mexico, it's not going to be your $700 good. for two people Hawaiian package getaway. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be that. It no, definitely and definitely, you know, I mean, I think this should be obvious, but I've had my experiences with people. Have a credit card, you know, for those expenses that you're not anticipating if you've actually run out of money, you know, just so you're not in a bind. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. You know, estimate high. Yeah, it's super fun to that. talk about money, but seriously, you do need to actually think that it's going to be a once in a lifetime all yeah. across the other side of the world holiday, and you need to actually budget for that level of epicness. Yeah, good. Um, all right, the next thing that I have on the list, it's it's very simple, but it's checking your change or your receipt when uh, when shopping anywhere. Um, I've experienced that quite often, you know, at supermarket. It's obviously because I live here, so usually we do a bit larger shopping than what a traveler will do. But, mm. you know, you may have that item entered mm. like three, four, five, or seven times in, uh, in our case, while you only have one of them. Um, sometimes when you get changed when paying in cash, you know, you may get a little short change sometimes. Um, it does happen quite regularly, so just taking the second to say yes to the receipt, check it out, you know, just as you this walk is out. Good. I didn't even know this. We were talking about this earlier. I yeah. did not even know this. I have been scared. I'm sure. Yeah, it is It is a very regular occurrence to us. Like, I, and I'll say, you know, when I say very regular, it happens maybe three, four times a year at most, but, but it does happen. And sometimes it is not an insignificant amount of money. Mm. So, you know, yeah. it can happen quite quickly. So just make sure you check your charge. Wow, that's a really good tip. Speaking of tip, I'm expecting an epic one to wrap this up. We had oh, the last yes, tip yes. Um, okay, last tip. It's going to be epic. Tip. Brace yourself. Make sure that you are flexible when you're traveling. Okay, 
I know. Seems, Stretch. Seems everything. obvious. Seems like not a big deal. No, 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 no. Don't be, don't be one of those people where you're like planned 8 a.m. to whatever. Be flexible. Enjoy. Be a little spontaneous, even if it makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and, and I agree. And even, even with the high level trip planning that you have, um, you know, making sure that you're flexible enough to realize I don't have enough time to do both ends, and I'm just gonna do the north end. And, um, you know, make, being flexible with your method of transport. Maybe you'll realize that. You know, if you're traveling solo, mm. you're, you're, you know, you're like, you have a certain budget, maybe taking a bus tour, all organized, all inclusive bus tour around mm. the North Island, maybe the best thing for you to actually give you the best experience and not just literally yeah. drain the life out of you with all the driving you're gonna try to do and all the activities you're gonna try to cram around. Just, uh, just you know, make sure that you're flexible enough and you are well informed enough, take some time to do some research, to find all the information that you can find with traveling yeah. in New Zealand, you know, um, uh, work your itinerary within what you realistically can do rather than what your ideal and your dream is that's that would be my opinion. yeah no that's really good and yeah. go to new zealand pocket guide to get every tip that you need it's for nz pocket guides.com oh what am i saying and new zealand pocket guide oh it's <laughs> that's, that's that's not the right thing to say oh my gosh okay. nz and that's z okay. is for z for anybody oh yeah nz know. yeah well you can say it like that's fine. i thought NZ. i was saying nz oh, that's okay, okay. Anyway. NZ, look at that nz for zoro <laughs> well <Pocket guides. laughs> com. here you go yeah check it out it has everything that you need well thanks for joining us today i hope this was helpful um i hope that you don't make these mistakes now or you'll make them and you'll be like oh i forgot they said that and but if, either way, you're welcome. And if any of you have any opinions on what she's wearing today, mm. what about what you? Do you comments think? below and you tell think? us what you think. Come on, that what is do you think? looking I think dashing. that this is a great gift. So you should get this. For, this is customizable. I'll put a link in uh, the description and you can get a 10% discount if you order with my Kiwi code. There you and go. yeah, and it's cool. And so is it 10% on customizing Tara or customizing the shirt? <laughs> You can put whatever you want, but you could put this if you want. 21 was my number when I was, um, you know, in high school. Oh, I thought sports. that was your age. Oh, yeah. It's that, too. Here you go. <laughs> it was my age. I love it. I'm going with that. I wish I would have thought of that. Okay. So, yeah. So, you should check this out. You can get baseball. You can get um, basketball jerseys. You can get American football jerseys made. And you can put names and however you want. Millions and millions of choices. So, check it out link below. Thank you for Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Click the link below if you want to get 10% off a website or a domain. Anyway, thanks for joining us today and we'll see you next week.